Hello everyone, JD Desi here, and I am back with another video today. Uh, I hope you guys like my new intro. I released it uh, yesterday, or probably like two days ago. I don't remember. Um, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. Well, not really, considering that that I've kind of done these type of videos before, but decided to do another one because my opinions change like a lot and i want to share some of my opinions and my top favorite wii u cpus of all time now before we get into the video i just want to say that these are my opinion and if you disagree with them i can totally respect that because i know some of you guys have some experience with these characters and i just want to say this before we get started and just know that i want every one of you guys to respect my opinion and i don't really have much to say considering that i just want to get straight into the video and i don't want to talk a lot so anyways let's get started number 35 we have dylan now this guy kind of feels underrated and overhated at the same time he's basically starting to become takumi 2.0 like they're both really getting hate for like maybe 80 percent of the me community and um however the only difference is that takumi is basically being hated over everything while dylan is only being hated because he's annoying in tennis which is understandable i mean i was one of those people but i never really hated him for it and i think the only reason why he's starting to get into my top 35s because well a little fun fact he was actually the first standard me that i kind of watched uh when i first discovered we part of you not when i first played it when i first discovered it i think i watched like a playthrough really a playthrough of it like a few years ago and yeah so i don't know just i had a lot of fun experience with him so that's probably why up next we got Xiao Jin, Xiao Jian. I, I I don't I don't know how to pronounce this dude's name right, but his name is pretty unique. I like it and it sounds pretty cool, even though I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, he's really cute and it's really interesting that he is literally one of the most overpowering kids in Wii Sports Club, yet he gets full dunked on to be a beginner me in Wii Party U. Like I get it, I know the difficulties are based on the me's ids but come on you really think that a powerful kid who could be max pro at every sport deserves at least an expert or master like what like even max got a master and he was almost max pro at every sport even though he's only level star nine in boxing so that's a little uncalled for and don't even say that we party you came out before we sports club because that does not matter next up we got kasuhiko or kasuhiro whichever you prefer i prefer kasuhiro because it sounds more masculine than kasuhiko it's really interesting that his name was <laughs> misspelled in the early uk versions of wii sports club but was correctly fixed in the us version or the pal version of wsc but honestly that isn't really a mistake because i really like his name kazuhiro more and it suits him better to be honest and um I also like him because he's actually quite fun to play with. I remember in back in the day that I had him in the lowest rank because technically he is forgettable at some points, but now after playing with him a lot, he's not that forgettable and he's quite fun too. So yeah, not much to say about him other than that he's cool. Up next, we got Eric who is kind of underrated, but not really. Um, from my point of view of things, he doesn't really get that much hate and that kind of makes me happy. Um, by the way, I do respect those who hate him, though. <laughs> um, he looks cool, and he does look like somebody that I knew of. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree with, me, agree with me on this. But he looks like he's Merrick's older brother, considering that they both got the same eyes, glasses, and nose, too. And head shape. And that same, like, wrinkle face thing on their nose. So, I don't know if Nintendo did that on purpose or was it like a coincidence? And they're both advanced memes, so that's pretty interesting. Up next, we got Burn, and if you don't like the way how I pronounce his name, then deal with it. It's really interesting that this man has like three better versions of himself, and <laughs> it's really weird but cool all at once. And I'm really glad that they stuck with this one because if they would have stuck with either the two, ver two better versions, I probably wouldn't last looking at him 
but he actually looks like my principal and by the way my principal is nice and he's cool uh don't have any issues with him and we part of you norm wsc so yeah not much to say up next we got maximilian or max for short I heard that some people are saying that he looks like a female, which I guess I can see probably because of the eyes and the mouth, but the more I look at him, the more I'm starting to think that he actually doesn't look like a girl at all. Um, and he's also kind of been receiving some hate recently because of how overpowering he is in WSC and how the fact that he gets master difficulty. But remember how in my reasoning of liking Xiao Jin of how you know how they dunked Xiao Jin for putting him in beginning difficulty and maxing him out his grade and max of how he's almost at max pro and then he deserves master well to be honest I gotta give him credit because well despite being a little bit annoying and weeper to you I do gotta say that I do like playing with him a lot and it's really interesting that Nintendo did somewhat write on him for once. So, yeah, like I said, he's fun, he's cute, and I like him a lot. So, up next, we got Daisuke or Daisuke. I prefer Daisuke, whichever you prefer. Um, there's two Daisukes, one in the Wii and one in the Wii U. The Wii U one is what you're seeing right now. Um, I'm surprised that a lot of people like the Wii one more than the Wii U, probably because this one doesn't play any sports, which mm, I guess that kind of is the reason, but mm, I don't know. But in my opinion, this Daisu is way better than the Wii one. Even though I'm starting to go a little bit more neutral to the Wii one, this one is more friendly and fair to play with than the other one. And personally, his looks do look pretty awesome. And I remember that I had him in my like and my dislike Wii U stuff back in the day when I was starting to uh, recently play in more Wii U games. So, yeah. Up next, we got Ricardo. Um, now, I just want to put this out there. When I first like start getting into like into the 3DS and the Wii U stuff, he was actually my number one favorite uh, Wii U me um, out of the 111 of them. But after playing with him and we party you he did kind of gave me issues and he was kind of rigged for the most part but yeah so that's why he kind of like dropped on my list um but he is cute and he is still fun but just not that fun like he was anymore up next we got pan pan <laughs> that's kind of a cute name for her uh she looks adorable as heck um i really don't see why she's listed young in metopia where in reality she looks like a kid or a child um when i first saw her i thought her name was willow <laughs> i was kind of caught off guard when i saw her that her name was pan pan i mean it's actually a cute name more than willow so and i actually never had any issues with her while playing with her or against her in we party is up next we got john uh i'm surprised that he's not getting that much hate like i expected him to get which is pretty surprising considering that most of the memes that i like are now getting hate uh he's a really cool dude and he looks cool i don't have a problem with him and we part of you and he's not that annoying like he was when i first played the game and in Wii sports club too and he also looks like a mixture of john wick and jack black is it a coincidence I don't think so, but I think Nintendo was inspired by them, and I think that's pretty interesting. Next we got Ivo, or as I like to call him, Evo! <laughs> Y'all remember that? Someone had said that he looks like a bunny, and <laughs> he does. In fact, he looks like an elderly version of Bugs Bunny. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> but anyway, um, he actually looks somewhat interesting i remember in the past that i disliked him because of how creepy he looks in fact i did compare him to him looking like herbert for family guy and i'm not a huge fan of family guy but by playing with him a couple of games and we part of you he's actually quite nice so i like him now up next we got one of the most underrated ladies besides me on the whole freaking planet monica and uh the only reason why i probably like her is because she reminds me of my grandmother and She's actually a really fun lady to play with, and she's actually not that bad looking. And in the past, I actually did quite forget about her, because like many people would say, she is underrated. 
So with her being underrated, it kind of did make me feel bad. So that's why she's in my top 35. Next, we got Mark. Now, like Xiao Jin, he's max pro at every sport in WIC, but unlike Xiao Jin, he's a standard me, but not a beginner me. So, uh, I mean, I guess I could give Nintendo props for putting him in at least like a little higher standard difficulty than beginner. I don't know. But yeah, he's fun and he's real nice. And I, and I wish I can come across him so that way I can versus him and wsc man it really sucks that some of my favorite memes are like star 10 and it's really hard that i have to reach that level to get to them next we got olga for being hated by honestly a really overhated reason and that reason is because well technically she's a quote-unquote ripoff of Mew. now this reason is kind of unreasonable for multiple reasons and so many people can depict that it's because one yes olga is a beginner in tennis but miu is literally like the third best in baseball while olga sucks at it like pit and olga is best at boxing but miu doesn't even play it next on our list we got zikai who is starting to really get hate because of someone that ruined him uh which i can kind of accept that reason but not really uh he's a cute kid in my opinion and he's really fun and looks cool all at once and you know despite you know being a little bit of a troublemaker in the past i can pretty much say that that kind of slipped away and now i like him a lot so up next we have another child that is basically being hated uh for the same reason as zikai and another me who we're also gonna get up into the video dunbar uh he's a cute kid i don't have any issues with him in wsc and we part of you and basically i heard that a lot of people are also mocking his name to dumb bar which is kind of mean but again nothing i could do about it but yeah hating on him because of his name is kind of silly i mean that's basically the same treatment to another me who we're also gonna get into this lace later on up next we got pedro who kind of feels underrated because i rarely see people talk about him his looks do look kind of interesting uh and i don't really have much of a bad experience or an opinion on him but the more I play with him or see him, the more I start to like him. And I think that's a good thing. And I'm really glad that he isn't that much of a cheater in We Part of You like I think he is. Up next, we got Haxiang or Haxian, whatever you want to pronounce it. Now, this dude actually looks like me in real life and one of my friends. And it's kind of unique that I pretty much have a favorite me that looks like me. And it's really cool. And uh, he was actually kind of forgivable, to be honest, when I was like starting to get into We Part of You. But the more I played with him, the more he was not that forgivable. So next we got Nore, another me that I never really paid attention to in the past, but now I really like. The more I look at her, the more she kind of reminds me of Zendaya. And I love Zendaya. I'm a huge fan of her not not like a huge huge fan of her but still i like her and um i have her as one of my teammates in Metopia, and she's really cute and not that problematic in we part of you and in wsc from what i'm seeing in gameplays and yeah not much of a bad opinion on her other than that she's cute next we got juice another child that's starting to get a little bit of hate because of how evil he looks and sinister he looks and how he's a little bit annoying and we part of you which again is reasonable and understandable uh in the past uh i never really had any attention with him i never really find him that fun but after playing with him and we part of you he's actually pretty cool and he does look pretty sweet so next we got mad now before you spam in the comment section yes i know that in the past i made a video of explaining my top 15 least favorite cpus and he was the my number one least favorite but now after playing with him again a few rounds and report to you he's actually pretty chill and now i like him and he's actually looking pretty cool but despite me liking him a lot he's not better than the other we met uh and <laughs> You know, and I also see that a lot of people are hating him because he's basically the polar opposite of Matt. 
which is understandable considering that Matt is the champion at boxing while this Matt is a beginner and Matt in this Matt is star 10 in tennis and baseball while Matt sucks at tennis and baseball so yeah by all means necessary he's not that annoying like he was and we part of you anymore and now he's cool Next we got Joseph who looks a lot like my uncle and he's actually really cool. I see him like literally everywhere in the 3DS and the Wii U promotions and I love it. And he's not a bad guy and not that enjoyable like I thought he was but he's still a pretty looking chill dude from my experience with him. Not a problematic guy and he's fine. Next we got Haruka, another underrated lady that doesn't really get much attention and that kind of makes me sad. In the past when I first discovered the Wii U, I actually didn't like her at all because of how useless she was, but now after playing with her, she's actually a lot of fun. And she actually looks like my mom and she's really adorable and cute and it's really sad that, just, that she doesn't get that much attention like I hope she would and I really hope so. Next we got Chin Hong, uh, one of Nintendo's me mascots, and I guess I can see why. He kind of appears everywhere in the Wii U franchise, but not so much. Uh, I was kind of sad that he was just only a baseball teammate, because I thought he actually played sports when I first saw him, and when I was introduced to WSC. But yeah, nothing can change the fact that he does look adorable, and he's quite fun to play with in Wii for you. Next we got Chris who looks like a teddy bear and I'm surprised that so many people like this Chris more than a Wii Chris. I like both Chris's equally and I don't really have like a favorite over the other and yeah it sucks that he's only a tennis partner and a baseball teammate in WSC but he is super super adorable and he kind of looks sinister and fun to play with. We made it to our top 10 and number 10 we have Polly. She looks really sweet and she looks like a doll. A lot of people are really spamming like Polly wants a cracker and don't hate me because I don't know where that's from. But yeah, she's really fun to play with especially when we party you. And um, I don't really have a bad opinion on her other than that she is cute like other child and me's and yeah. Next we got Barbara who is starting to get a little bit of hate recently because of how annoying she is in WSC which I can respect uh, and I thought I was gonna suffer the same fate but after beating her and Alice for like what the third time in a row she's actually not that hard hard tennis champion and uh, she's really easy on, compared to Enrique and Pitt uh, and I don't really see her related to Alice I see her related more to Araceli considering that they both look identical and you can disagree with me all you want, but that's just my opinion. Next we got Suzu, who also looks like a Care Bear. And she's really adorable and kind of fun to play with. Well, actually no, not kind of. She really is fun to play with and we part of you. And I also find it really enjoyable that she's not really getting that much hate. And that really makes me happy. And I think the ship with her and Pavel are kind of getting overrated considering that, that they were both shown together in Metopia. But in my opinion, I kind of ship her with Skip. No offense, but not so much because I don't really do ships like that. Next we got Skip. Now his name is weird to him in some ways. Like when I first saw him, he looked so weird to me. It's probably because of his mouth or something. I didn't really hate him, I just found him so weird. Now, a few months into getting We Party You, I really like this dude a lot. He looks like a nerdy middle schooler. And the only thing that I would probably change about him is his name. Like, I think Drew fits best for him. But yeah, other than that, he's not problematic and he looks super cute and I would play with him for however long it would take me. Next up we got Pavel who is the most popular Miis in the Wii U franchise and I don't know if Nintendo really loves him or just I don't know but yeah he is really adorable he looks like a shy timid little guy and I can imagine him having the voice of Tails because he does kind of look like Tails in my opinion not gonna lie 
and the more I play with him, the more fun he gets, and he's just really adorable. I can't resist that face of his. But yeah, like I said in Susie's Reason, I think the ship of him and her are kind of overrated. I just see them as like friends. I don't really see them as like a couple, considering that, they, that they're kind of too young to be a couple. That's just my opinion, so... Next we got Massimo. He is hands down my favorite advanced me out of all the advanced me's in both We Party U and in We Party. And he just looks so cool. I don't know. The more I look at him, the more I just want to like hang out with him, you know? His design looks really amazing to me. His hair suits him pretty well. And I guess I can't resist playing with him. A lot and it's just really cool and I love it and yeah just don't have much of a bad experience with him next we got Yuya who is extremely underrated for a reasonable excuse it's because he strangely is like a where's Waldo in WSC like he literally appears in the promo picks in WSC especially in boxing but he doesn't play boxing like come on like that doesn't really make sense i also like his looks to be honest he looks really cool and um he looks a little bit more fitable to be on the wii and you might see a picture of the Mi channel menu and uh so that must mean that he was technically gonna be a cpu in we in the wii but i guess nintendo kind of changed their minds but uh but i'm really glad that they put him on the wii because he kind of looks a lot more cooler than the wii no offense Next we got Faustine, who is one of my crushes, and she looks really adorable and really fun to play with in Wii Party U. She was kind of forgettable for the most part when I was starting getting to the Wii U, but now she isn't anymore. And she looks like a cute, adorable mouse. And some people are comparing her to Chica, but honestly, I don't. They look nothing alike, probably because of the big eyes. But yeah, she just doesn't look the same to me. But yeah, not much of a bad opinion on her, and she looks really adorable and fun to play with. Next we got Maria, who is my favorite crush of all time, and she looks super pretty. I never really paid much attention to her in the past, because one, she was kind of forgivable, and two, I never really saw her that much. And now that I was able to play Wii Part of You, and I was able to battle with her, she's actually quite nice, and she's pretty sweet and fair than most females in we part of you but uh yeah i don't have much of a a bad opinion on her and she's really sweet and adorable and it really sucks that she's a stare at me i would much rather let her be an expert me than a standard me and she's way better than a wee maria by the way and finally we have number one and that is akira now this man is super super fun to play with and I have no trouble with him losing with him whatsoever and he is just he's just, he's just so cool and I have no bad experience with him and he was the first well one of the first expert CPUs that I've played in Wii Party U when I first got it and first played it and and it's kind of interesting that a lot of people like him and that really makes me happy and he just looks super cool and he looks like an anime character a main protagonist anime character and i really like his hair it's really cool and that's just really amazing and that is all for my top 35 favorite wii u cpus i hope you guys enjoyed this video even though this wasn't the best editing video and if you did i really appreciate it and I will continue making videos like this soon, but I probably will like get like a better upgraded software to make better edited videos like this. And I hope you guys should stick with me. If this video felt weird, then I'm terribly sorry. Also, if the audio was also pretty weird, it's because um, I don't have a proper mic and, and I wish I had one, but I can't afford it. So yeah. But thank you guys so much for those who have stick around and listening to my favorite CPUs. And uh, wish y'all favorite CPU. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.